and welcome to Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting. It is December the 8th, 2020 at approximately 5.30 p.m. Uh, Mr. Burney, may we please, ha please have the roll call. Yes, Ms. Davis. Present. Mr. Burney. Present. Mr. Honolong. Present. All the trustees are present. And next, if everyone would uh, stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. First thing we have on our agenda this evening is our uh, financial report from uh, Mr. Burning, our fiscal officer. Um, do we have a report? Yes, we do, Mr. Honolol. For the month ending November 30th, 2020, the township expenditures were $5,060,908.80, and the receipts were $3,121,146.81. The ending cash balance of $22,067,446.77 includes obligations for expenditures, payroll, regular operating costs, ongoing capital improvement projects, and investments. What I need from the board is a request for a motion to approve the receipts, warrants, payroll expenditures, updated, and current revenue reports for the period ending November 30th, 2020. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, and I do want everyone to know that financial reports are available at the township office during regular business hours or on our website 24-7. Thank you, Mr. Honolong. Thank you, Mr. Burning. Next, uh, moving on to departmental action and discussion items. Uh, Mr. Gilbert, do we have the township administrator's report? We do. Thank you, Mr. Hunterlow. I do have a few action items this evening. Uh, the first is, as the board is aware, uh, we were um, made aware of a, a grant possibility through Hamilton County uh, for coronavirus-related uh, equipment that can be purchased here at the township. And uh, as the board is aware, we already had uh, budgeted for, uh, in 2021, to purchase roughly $300,000 worth of self-contained breathing apparatus which is the equipment that our firefighters use when they go into a burning building in order for them to breathe while they're in there. Uh, the current equipment that we have um, has reached its useful life. Um, it has been put to the test not only uh, throughout the years regarding fire responses, but most recently, we've used it quite extensively in our response to the pandemic and going to transport and um, treat COVID-19 positive patients. With that being said, we were uh, made aware uh, of a possibility of getting a grant to purchase this equipment and therefore saving local taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars in next year's budget and th through the fire department. Um, through the extremely um, good work and, and fast work of uh, Chief Leininger, uh, in particular Laura uh, Abrams, our law director, and um, Kathleen Kennedy, and without a doubt Kim Cox, our finance director, and putting the funds in place in order to do this, you wouldn't believe the amount of financial gymnastics and accounting gymnastics you have to do in order to comply with the federal government, um, not to mention the, the COVID um, grant process through the county. And then to put together, um, you know, bid specs and get it out to bid within probably 48 hours like we did once we made aware of this grant because there's a time limit on when you could do it. They've just done a phenomenal job of getting us in this place where we can save this money and get this grant. So uh, that is sort of a prelude to what I was going to say, which is an action item tonight, which is to actually award the bid. Um, we did the bid open yesterday. Um, yes. Dan was here um, for this SCBA equipment, and we received two bids. And the fact that we were able to, to award the bid tonight um, is a testament to all the hard work that they put in place in order to get us here. It's going to allow us to get this grant, which we had to um, get reimbursed for by the end of the year. So just kudos to them. I thought this is a perfect opportunity to, to, to express my appreciation and gratitude for all the work that they did to get us to this point. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Chief real quick to kind of give us his recommendation um, as to what we're going to be requesting and, and who to award the bid to. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, yes, sir. The... Uh as we mentioned, we did have a bid opening um, yesterday, 
And we had Vogelpol fire equipment and 911 fleet and fire equipment. They both submitted uh, written bids proposals uh, for the purchase of our SCBAs. Both companies submitted an intent to bid document as well as a bond, which is a requirement of the bid process. Um, actually, um, I was pleasantly uh, surprised. The difference between the bids was $3,680. So it was very close. Um, what I recommend this evening is obviously subject to legal review of the documents, as I recommend that we select 911 fleet and fire equipment um, to purchase 40 X3 Pro self-contained breathing apparatus manufactured by Scott. Uh, that also includes 80 self-contained breathing apparatus bottles and 100 face pieces for a total of $313,680. Um, and that obviously is subject to review by our legal. Um, and that is my recommendation this evening, sir. Thank you. So with that being said, if we, if you, unless there's any discussion, that's the request for um, well, I would just like to say, Chief, on behalf of the board, you know, I've, I've heard in some of my discussions with Mr. Mr. Gilbert what all you had to go through. Uh, everyone here at the township, I think you were working with Kim Cox and, mm -hmm. yes. Laura, in and, and Laura in mm -hmm. particular to jump through all the hoops and, and uh, you know, great job getting this done so quickly. And otherwise, we would have lost the opportunity and we just saved $313,000 yeah. for the uh, citizens of the township. So thanks for the for going above and beyond to get well, it Thank done. you for the accolades, Mr. Hunter Law. Believe me, it's a, I'm humbled. But uh, as, as Mr. Gilbert said, it's a team effort. You know, everybody pitches in, Laura and our finance director and everybody else, so it's a team effort. So collectively, we were able to get this bid proposal together. Uh, even Kim Flam was able to put it on our website, which you know, was maybe a new way for us to advertise. But we collectively, we all came together. We made this happen. And um, you know, I'm, I'm excited um, about the ability to purchase uh, this equipment. And um, most importantly is the equipment that we're using now is to a point where it needs to be replaced. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited that we're able to do it. Thank you. Laura, thank you for all your timely assistance on this. You're as, welcome. As always. Um, I just want to just highlight for the board as well. We are choosing the higher bidder here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I know the board's aware and, and can see the documents. But there are several instances where the higher bidder complied with the bid specs and, I mean, I'm sorry, higher bidder did not comply with the bid specs as drafted and the lower bidder did. No, the other way around. The other way around. Now, the other way around. now I'm getting confused. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm around. sorry. It's been a long day. The higher bidder is the one who complied um, and the lower bidder did not. And that's one of the reasons. There's some differences in, in the face mask, the amplification. Um, elements to this uh, particular device which are really important um, so we are that's why and there is not that much difference here as the chief indicates in the three thousand dollar range um, so those differences outweigh the savings we could get by going by the low bidder um, this also is a, a brand that's Scott equipment am I right chief yes 3m right. Scott safety yes that we are familiar with well, well known brand yeah. yeah and we have technicians who who understand these so all in all, I mean, what we agree to do when we send bids out, we're very clear to the vendors, we go for the lowest and best bid. Yeah. Um, we're not required to go for the lowest bid just per se. So I, I'm comfortable, and as I said, we're going to look through the documents very detailed, but at this point I'm comfortable in that even though they are a, a higher bidder, that this is the best product for the township and is more compliant with the bid specs that we set out. Thank you, Laura, and I, I'm in agreement. Thank you. And there's only 1% difference between the two, so right. yeah. Right. Um, with that, then, do we need a motion? Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And subsequent to that, if you could also um, entertain a motion to authorize the administrator to execute an agreement with 911 um, fleet and fire equipment. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. 
Um, next on the agenda, we have the 2020 and through 2021 school year agreement for a school resource officer with Finneytown Local School District Chief. I don't know if you have any comments regarding this or any nuances to it, given the, the school closures and things that are different than in years past. Just a few. This is uh, this year's agreement is clearly outside of what we're what we're normally doing. Um, school's been in, it's been out. We had to, uh, the superintendent and I put a quite a few uh, minutes in trying to figure out exactly how many days and, and payments and, and everything with that. But uh, we came up with a, uh, an agreement that, that we feel is um, beneficial to uh, both the Finneytown School District as, as well as the police department. So. so I would just ask for a motion to authorize um, the administrator to execute the agreement with Finneytown Local School District um, for a school resource officer for the school year um, 2020 to 21. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, Chief. Appreciate it. Um, last on the uh, action item agenda, as the board is aware, at the beginning of every year, we set our regular meetings and our regular work sessions. Um, at the beginning of this year, we set our work session uh, for December 22nd, and then subsequent to that would immediately go into our 2021 organizational meeting. Because of where that date falls and, and, and where we are and some of the things that we have to do in order to close out 2020 and move into 21, it's always better for us administratively um, and our finance office to push that date as far back in December as we can. Therefore, I'm requesting and asking if we could reschedule our regular work session and organizational meeting for 21 from the original December 22nd date to either the December 28th or 29th. Um, whichever the board prefers, um, I would be okay with. If if that's um, amenable to you, that would be better for us um, administratively to push it back a week. I am fine with either the 28th or the 29th. No, uh, 8 a.m. meeting? 8 a.m.? What, what were the time or we proposed? Well, they're generally, they're at 8 in the morning, okay. so we can do it at any time, but okay. that's generally when we do it. Yeah. Nope, that's fine with me, either date. Does something better work better for you all? Uh, Either day is fine. Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Would anybody care? Doesn't matter to me. I don't have a preference. I'd rather do it Tuesday, but I, I can work Monday if I have to. Want to do it Tuesday? That's fine. Tuesday do it the 29th. 29th. Tuesday the 29th. Okay. Okay. So just a, a motion then to um, reschedule our original uh, regular work session and our 2021 organizational meeting from December 22nd to December 29th at 8 a.m. So do moved. Yeah. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, looking at the uh, personnel update, we had the resignation in the fire department of Daniel Goforth, part-time medic firefighter, on November 10th, 2020, and the resignation of Derek Greenlee, part-time medic firefighter, November 18th, 2020, and my understanding is they both got full-time jobs elsewhere, so we hate to lose them, good employees, um, but sign of the times, they're, they're a commodity that's in demand right now. We also have the resignation of Jeremy Trentman, um, the police officer, and he's went on to do something in the private sector. We wish him a lot of luck, but he gave us how many years? Uh, 13. 13 years. So wow. uh, we wish him the best. Um, his date of resignation from the police department was November 13th, 2020. We had the promotion in the Public Works Department of Andy Sider to supervisor, and that date of promotion was November 14th, 2020 well well earned and deserved and then we had the resignation in the public works department of rick riggs from the laborer um, position and that date was december 3rd 2020. no other um activity in the uh personnel update and the board has copies of uh the departmental activity reports and unless there are any questions of those that concludes my report all right thank you thank you mr gilbert um, next, then, moving on to our resolutions, our first resolution is resolution number 114-2020, which is a supplemental appropriation within the Coronavirus Relief Fund. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis? Aye. Mr. Burning? Aye. Mr. Honoloff? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number... 115 2020 declaring nuisances pursuant to ohio revised code section 505.87 
at various listed properties within Springfield Township and authorizing statutory actions to abate the nuisances. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis? Aye. Mr. Vernon? Aye. Mr. Honolau? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 116, 2020, declaring motor vehicles located on public or private property in Springfield Township, Hamilton County, Ohio, to be junk motor vehicles pursuant to revised code section 505.173 in ordering the removal of such vehicles pursuant to resolution 802012 and revised code section 505.871. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis? Aye. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Honolau? Aye. Resolution carries. Um, next, do we have any old business before the board? I do not. I do not. Um, any new business this evening? I do not. Well, and with that, we are now to uh, the citizens' participation uh, portion of the meeting. Uh, if anyone here would like to come up and address the board, we'd ask that you come up to the microphone, state your name and address. Um, is there anyone that would like to speak? We, we, we got a, the issue taken care of? All right, perfect. We just wanted to listen. No, no. We're, we're always welcome to listen. Yes, we're always welcome to listen, and thank you for coming. We're, we appreciate that. Um, um, with that, it appears that there is no one else that uh, wants to participate in citizens participation. Um, I would just say this has been a, a tough year for, well, for all of us, but uh, it's been tough for local governments. It's been a challenge for our fire department, our police department, public works, you know, administration, everybody. We appreciate the job that everyone's done. Uh, throughout the throughout the year, we have a lot of accomplishments this year, in spite of all the crises that the, that we've gone through, and uh, we've shown that we can uh, adapt and kind of you know you know change the play while we're in the middle of it. So um, thank you to everybody for everything that we've done. I think we've uh, you know we're we're going to be approaching the new year. I think we'll all be glad to see a new year and maybe. Uh, some some uh, vaccines and relief from what's been going on, but uh, we have that to look forward. And, and uh, with that, unless anyone else has anything to say, I'd just like to uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Means adjourn. Thank you all. For